Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Peter. Uh, welcome back to Goodale Farm. Uh, so today, just a quick video on some things I have going on around here. And uh, just want to say hello. Thanks. For me, it, I don't mind walking through shrubbery, like in this case here. I got these abravites that instead of walking all the way around the house, I just find the, the spot in between a couple and kind of walk through. Um, also, I got a couple of these holly trees usually you hear about a holly bush but these are holly trees uh, one's a male one's a female you could tell by the different coloring and i think one does berries but um, a couple interesting things about these trees one is that these leaves are very prickly and they're very dense and hard when i'm cutting the lawn oftentimes one of these will fall down between my shirt and my back and man that's a bear you got to get those out the second is when these blossom out, the bee, they're covered with bees. I mean, you could hear the bees swarming. There's a little bit of a scent they give off, but when it's that time of year, I'm very careful cutting around here because I know the bees are out there. But what I don't expect is seeing this huge hornet's nest hanging off a branch. And these hornets are those black ones with the white tail on them and yesterday when I was cutting the lawn I came along this fence line here just enough I didn't even see this nest until I was right on it and of course I got stung by one well, I hightailed it out of here quick I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that I thought about spraying it last night but this time of year, it really doesn't get dark till after 9 o'clock or so. And these hornets, they're always out. I noticed they were around that nest even at that time of the night. Here's another thing you have to contend with this time of year. These black flies. That sucker's biting me right now as I record it. It's been pretty quiet. For rattlesnakes this year usually i see one maybe two haven't seen any this year oh, maybe there's some years they have more activity than others we've been getting a lot of rain this year summer of 2023 and the pond has been at capacity most of the summer and you could see the muck growing on top Sometimes I'll go out there and try to get it off, but there's so much out there, it's hard to do. Just notice this nice trumpet vine growing in the woods. I don't know if previous owners planted that or not, but definitely provides good pollen for bees. I was looking to see if there's any hum hummingbirds around, but nothing yet. It's pretty neat. So here I am in the middle of the backyard, really out in the open, and I run across this bird's egg here. It's a white one, so I'm not quite sure what it is. It could be a blue jay, maybe a crow, starling. Whenever I see broken eggs like that, just in the middle of nowhere, years ago I used to think to myself, how did it get there? But then I come to realize, and after doing some research, when birds are expecting and they have eggs, they don't know when they're gonna come. They gotta go about their life. They're out eating, flying around, avoiding predators, you name it. Now, probably the day of, or maybe an hour or two before, they know they're about to lay an egg. Maybe they go back to the nest to do that. But sometimes they're in the middle of who knows where. They could be flying, they could be catching a worm. And when that time comes, that time comes. Unfortunately, they're not on the nest, and oftentimes it just falls on the ground. All right, everybody, that's the uh, video for today. The flies are getting a lacy, so I'm going to have to spray her down with some fly spray. But uh, I'm glad to be back. I got a new phone. My memory was killing me on my other phone, so that's why I had a long delay. So I'll look forward to more videos, and hope you're having a great day. Take care.